sadaka kabisa mtazamaji karibu tena katika Arocho Live ambapo wiki hii ni bahati ilioje tunaangazia masuala ya basketball nchini Kenya tuko na mwanadada Masi Wanyama mchezaji wa timu ya taifa basketball kwa upande wa wanadada karibu sana Masi katika Arocho Live asante sana thank you very much eh, kwanza kongole good job mmefanya katika qualifier za Afro basketball thank you asante sana ilikuwaaje kwa ufupi tu ilikuwaaje um Aiku kwa rais I would say there was no hakuna team ilikuwa rais. Okay. Everyone wanted to win. Okay. So there was no from the word go hakukuwa na any easy team. Each and every team kila mtu alikuwa na tia BD. Mm -hmm. Yes. Shikilia tu hapo masi tutaangazia masuala ya Afro basketball tutapomalizia. Mtazamaji angependa kujua huyu masi wa nyama ni nani. Sababu kuu ya kipindi hii ni kuweza kumfahamu mchezaji na kuweza kumsherekea. Mm -hmm. Who is Masi wa nyama? Masi Wanyama is um, I'm just is just a simple lady who was born in a family of sports men and women. Um, she likes getting things done. She's very hard working. Um, you know, she just believes in you know um, working hard, working smart, put everything. You know, if you work, 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 things just happen. Great things happen. Tell me something about your family because. Uh many perhaps might not know uh, that uh, you come as you said you come from a sporting family tell us more about the family um <laughs> my mother's name is mildred wanyama she was a, a basketballer and a baller my father's name is noah wanyama he was a the famous noah yes. wanyama yes okay yes then i have um, brothers uh, victor wanyama magdola uh, mariga wanyama um, thomas wanyama harry wanyama the Wanyamas and my sisters here. Yes. So I'm in Wanyamas family. Okay. Just to make things Well, sure. the reason why I've asked that is because uh, many people don't know much about Mercy. Mm -hmm. That's another reason why I've uh, invited you here. Because we'd like to know and celebrate you. Other than uh, uh, your performance in Egypt. Kenyans would like to know. Let's go back. Uh, where was Mercy born? And how did you um, come to love the game? And eventually play it? Um, I was born in Nairobi, here. Yeah. Lived in Dura for so many years. Um, I mean, you know, um, we had three sisters, um, five boys or men. Uh, it's a very big family. So um, my mom was, as I said, my mom was a sports uh, lady and my dad also is in sports. So I learned through them. Yes, I used to play when I was small and all that. Then well, I started. Well, you used to play in Mudurwa? Yes, in Mudurwa when I was small. Um, okay. Back then, I can remember when I was probably in class one, two, you just take a basketball or a netball and then you just dribble just within. No rims, no pitches, no nothing. But then when I went to um, high school, which, I played which, in, which, in primary school. Which high school did you attend? I went to Langata High School. Langata High School. Then in Primary school, I was in St. Peter's Clevers, so we started in St. Peter's Clevers because okay. I was playing for, you know, school games. Okay. Uh, we won, we was won it because of your height? Because uh, the game mostly is associated with the height, mm -hmm. then uh, some techniques come. Was it because of your height? Mine, my height counts, but I'll say, you know, DNA, if you have a mother and a dad who, do, <laughs> who are playing basketball, then it means it's on my, <laughs> mine I say it's on my, yes. It's Mine in your in, system. It's in my system. Uh, okay. So yeah, um, I played for primary school when I was in primary school. Then I went to high school. Um, before then, back then I was playing. For, I was in Shiners Girls. Shiners. Yes. Good. Then um, my principal, the principal, Mr. Orero, is the one who ah, removed the me from Shiners. Ah, the famous Orero. Yes. Uh, Orero from Kamkunji. Yes. Shiners. Yes. So from Shiners went to Langata High School. Okay. So that's when. So the encouragement came uh, when you were in uh, uh, s uh, secondary school. Did you achieve anything at Langata? Yes, in, 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 yes, in yes. We won a lot of nini. The high school games, we were always the champions for, for so many years. Um, um, also, in high school is when I started playing Premier League. I was in, in form, high school. You were yes. playing for which team? In the I Premier was League? playing for Storms. Wow. Yes. So, you know, after my classes, on Saturday when I don't have classes, I will play the league. Most of my, my games were being played on Sundays. Okay. The, you know, the ones that I'm needed. Because my coach said I was good, so I trust him. And mm -hmm. I, I knew Who I was, was your coach good. then? 
uh, Ben Olude. Okay. Yes. I've worked with so many coaches. I've worked with Radin Dalu, I've worked with Ben Olude, I've worked with um, so many coaches. Among uh, these Abel. coaches, who do you think really shaped up Masi? Because uh, in sports, you have a coach who you can attribute your success to. Who is this coach? You know, I'll say there's a coach who, um, I worked with them in a different way. There's a coach who gives me, uh, there's one who does my, you know, who, the, we work in a different, um, you know, our work, um, there's somebody who just, you know, who knows to perfect my shots. There's the one who knows how to show me some moves in a different way. But there's this coach who really um, was like, you don't have much time. Like, you have some, you probably one year left or probably months. You should be playing it pro right now. Um, so we started working out. His name is, um, I call him Coach Ndovu. He's, he lives in um, uh, UK. Okay. Yeah, we worked with him for two months, just gym sessions. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, actually he's, I've been pushed with all those coaches. So I won't say this one was better than this okay. one. So I've you don't have a specific coach? I don't have a specific one, yes. Like everyone yes. knew where to work. Like, you know, Mercy, you're here, I need to work on this. I need to work on your footwork, I need to work on your shots, I need to work on your moves, I need to work on, you need to run, okay? I need you to be, you know, the gym, like everyone, kill them talk on Akanziake. So I'll say I appreciate all of them. Let's move from Langata. Mm -hmm. You've joined uh, your, 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 your club, your initial club. How did you move? Because someone somewhere, Labda Naangalia show, is one, she or, she or he, mm -hmm. is wondering how do I make it mm -hmm. uh, after uh, I'm through with my secondary mm. uh, education. How do I proceed? Uh, because they'd like to emulate Masi the way you went, your journey. You see, from, from uh, Langata, I played for Storms. Then from Storms, I played for Equity. Okay. I've also played for KPA. Okay. Or oh, in Mombasa. Yes. So you've stayed in Mombasa. I've not stayed in Mombasa, but I used to help them, you know, when it comes to club championship, all those, yeah. So, yeah, I've played for them for a while also. Okay. You know, it's which at some point as a player, you need to know what you want. You need to know when you're ready for something. If you this, you just you can, it, when I feel to something, just tell you now. Um, I'm ready for this. Yes, now I need to get to the next level. Okay. Yeah, you need you'll feel it when you put in the work. You'll feel like now I feel like my basketball is on another level, and I should probably move to the next yes. level. Yes. Before you move to your professional stint, I'd like to I'd like us to discuss something about your your club uh, championship when you played in the continental assignments. See, do you happen with the Because it is part of the journey. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure in when you played for KPA, when you're playing for your continent, the continental, in the continental showcase, you might have learned something. When was your first uh, continental assignment? Mm -hmm. uh, the first one was when I, I played for KPA. I can't remember the years because it's been a while. Okay. The KPA, yes, coach Ojuku. Yeah, you know, the moment you saw me, it was like, I need you to help me in this position. You know, somebody you just look at you and trust, like, this is the player that I need. With okay. him, I can win this and that. Okay. So, yeah, Mr. Ojuku just, you know, gave me a call and he's like, you know what, I need you to help me in club championship. I need you to help me because I believe in you. I think when you, I Where bring you this? along. Where was this? Where did you guys play? Uh, we played in... Um, I played in Nigeria. Okay. That was my first assignment. I played in Nigeria. Okay. And I remember I was so young still. How old were you then? Um, uh, I was on my probably 23, 24. Okay. There. Okay. Um, 20, 20, for my 20s, 21, 22, 23 there. Okay. So um, at that moment, he still had some good players. Um, the ones who have just retired, most of them right now. So yeah. That's when I, I studied. That was my first assignment. Okay, how was it? Um, uh, a young lady from Mudurwa, mm -hmm. uh, from Langata High School, you're now playing in the continental show. How was it? Because basically, what I want uh, the viewers to understand, and more so the upcoming basketball players to understand, is how you made it. It was challenging because now I'm meeting professionals, I'm meeting people who live through it. I'm meeting people who, who knows, you know, what to eat, what to do with their bodies, like they understand their bodies. At that moment, I, I never stepped to the gym. I've never been in the gym. Um, running was just in the pitch. Yeah, I used to run a lot because I had a coach who would make me run. And I really love that. I, now, I'm, you know, I know there is, now I understand the reason why he really want, he was making me, you know, make those runs. 
um, uh, it wasn't easy because now you, me, I'm coming as Mansi. I've never been in the gym. I've never CJ lift weights. I'm somebody who's coming is somebody who I'm a lift weights. is a professional player. Probably plays in Europe because as I said, we played in Nigeria. Okay. So it wasn't easy for me. Now that's when I started. You know, I felt like okay, there's something that is off. Um, if she's doing this and I'm doing this. Is there I think something I should, I'm not doing? Yes, there's something I'm not doing and probably I should work on it. So that's when I started with my brothers. Okay. Um, you know, my, unfortunately, you know, the, uh, fortunately for you, they yeah, are professionals. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, when I come home, they would tell me, I would say, you know, my finger is swollen. I'm just I'm like, Mercy, you have a weak finger. You need to go to the gym. You need to, you know, those are the song, sing, songs they used to sing all the time. I'm like, no, I don't want to be like this. I don't want to. So, so can you be a no? That's in my gym. Lazima this. So you see, then they started taking me to the gym. Okay. They introduced me to the Into gym. The gym. Yes. Okay. So as a, as a professional uh, basketballer, you, you, you confidently you can say that gym is Very important. a virtual component for your player. Very okay. important. Now, mtazamaji, tuko nae masi wanyama. Mchizaji wa timi ya taifa basketball. Kumbuka, hivi majuzi timi ya taifa ya Kenya ilifanya mambo kule misri na kupata ushindi katika michuano ya mchujo wanajiandaa kwenda kucheza kufuzu olimpiki zidi kutizama tunavuta unyunyu kidogo mtazamaji tunarejea kipindi cha pili na masi wanyama kumbuka tuko ndani ya Sankara Nairobi exactly like nothing else tunarejea Karibu tena mtazamaji, karibu tena, karibu tena, karibu tena. Sankara Nairobi, Cafe Latte, exactly like nothing else. Mm -mm. Na mbadu tuko nae, mwanadada, masi wanyama. Hametueleza kwamba ni dadake Victor Wanyama, dadake McDonald Mariga. Taka sa tuangazie safari yake ya kucheza kule nje ya nchi. Masi karibu tena. Asante. Uh, kwanza... Ebu tusonge, ilikuwa aje ukapata na fasi ya kucheza nje? Na niti mgani ya kwanza ulichezea nje? Um, my, of course, as a player, um, you have to go through, through trials. Okay. Again, I go back to my brothers. They're so you can, you can uh, attribute part of your success, yeah. the confidence that came in you, yes. to your brothers. Yes. Victor okay. Wanyama, McDonald Mariga, good job, good job. Uh -huh. Yes, um, so they're the ones, you know, Niki Maliza, as I said, I played Nika Fikamali, I told them, you know, I think I'm ready. At that time, Sikwan may, I've done Nikon may hit gym for a while, I've done my shots and all that. So they started watching my game. Then they said, you're not ready. You're not ready? You're not ready. You need to hit gym for at least two months. You need to work on your shots. We feel like... I see this and this. You know, whether you're playing football or uh, basketball, any sport, there's a way if you watch uh, somebody, you know, you'll understand, you see there's Kwamba something missing. Shafika, this, yes. uh -huh. So for them, you know, I'll say I'm lucky. I went to them, I said, I'm ready. They say, no, you're not. So Nilith Jim, it was so difficult. Um, I'll cry from day one to, cause you know, my body is killing me. I'm doing things that I've never done. Weights are there, it wasn't easy. Um, so, Niki Maliza, they told me now you're ready. When After was this? Months, that you're still playing in, in, in your club in Kenya? Yeah, I'm still playing in my club. Okay. You know, they'll come and watch. Now my game has improved. Everything, my thoughts have improved. Um, I remember before Niende, I'd already done Lishinda, my last Nini with Equity, to Lishinda, um, we were the champions. The league yes, champions, league. Okay. okay. So they said, oh, your stats and everything, now we have changed, everything has changed, you are ready. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, so again, I was, um, from them through them, yeah, they got me the connection. Okay. Yes, and they say the connection comes when they feel like you're ready. Yes. And you need to listen also. When somebody tells you you're not ready, they need don't to look listen down and appreciate on you. That. Yes, they don't look okay. down on you. Um, they respect you, they don't look down on you, but they feel like you should do this, probably work on this. So that he can rise, okay. you know, because they know what they're saying, they know what they're talking about. They've been there, so you know, I agreed. I trust my brothers hundred percent. I said, okay, fine. Okay. Two months, okay, I'm done. You went then to which team? 
Uh, my trials, I was in um, uh, Encino. I played Encino. for Encino for two seasons. Okay. Yes, two seasons. Yeah. Encino plays in which league? In Spain. Huh? In Spain, the yeah, top league? Yeah, they're in the top league. Okay. okay. Um, after that, that's when they were like, okay, you, you okay. So after there, you know, like I said, you know these people when they come for when a scout, you don't know, you, you know, you never know who's watching. You're okay. just doing your thing as usual. Then the next thing is another team came. Okay. Like we want half from you guys. Okay. Yes. So how how was the feeling? You you're in Spain. You went for your trials. Now there's a team that really wants to to to, to get your, your your services. How was the feeling? I was like, um, I f I was so happy. Of course, I'm on I'm on the right channel. I was with the right people. Nuliskiza, when I was told you're not ready, and now okay. I'm ready. Now I was thinking, what if Nigesema, you guys don't want me to make it, you guys don't want anything good. So, so, so what you're saying is the attitude Yes. is very important. Yes, the attitude, how, you know, discipline, the way, you know, hard work. You know, you need to just, you know, it's, it's, it's a set of things that, you know, you should work on. Okay. Yes, so, um... Which yeah. team was this now? Uh, the, the team that now picked you? So from, actually I played for three teams. From Encino, I went to Adba. Adba is also in Spain? Yes, it's also okay. in Spain. Okay. I played for Adba two seasons. Wow. Then from Adba, now another team then took me from there. Okay. You know, like I said, scouting. Okay. So I was scouted there, then they called together. So yes. basically, as you're moving, your, your value is? is going up and of yes, course, of course. Uh, what if, is the if, package yes if you're moving and you know you keep on moving from one team to another it's because these people who are scouting they're seeing something that they need you to you know to put in their team like okay. they, they're missing something in their team and okay. they need you to work on that okay yes so how is life uh now you are you're, you're you're fitting into the professional kind of setup how was life you know you can as well gali Mm -hmm. You know, seeing my family there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm on Super Gates like Victor all the time. Wow, wow. And Maria Tell me something. All the time. Was Victor moving from London to come and see you in uh, in Madrid? Um, uh, no, because we are both working at the same time. The same time okay. Yes, so it was a bit difficult. It's a challenge because we all get maybe once, you know, we rest days only a day okay. in between probably. Um, training and that. Yeah, and you are training the whole day. And then there's matches, of course, weekends. Okay. So, when I play with you, come on Friday. Unta kunyambia tizi ya bako majuni the whole day. Yeah. From what time to what time? Um, you train in the morning. You go to the gym in the morning. Individually you, or yes, as a team? As a team. Okay. In the morning is gym, then shorts. You work on your shorts and all that. Okay. Then in the evening is more, of, you know, ball work and okay. then. So what's the difference? Game. The training in Europe mm -hmm. as a professional mm -hmm. and the training that you uh, received when you were perhaps playing for KPA. Mm -hmm. How, what's the difference? Um, there's a big difference. There's a very big difference. Um, program, um, facilities. Okay. okay. Yes. Um, yeah, so in Europe, it's always indoors. It, oh, it's indoors. It's you do indoors. your training indoors. Yes. Okay. In Kenya, um, I appreciate we do both, you know, outdoor and indoors, but you know, facilities also. Um, sometimes you lack, yes, there's a lot of challenges in, um, okay. yeah, in our league. L let's touch a bit the na your national team, the national team. When were you first capped? Uh, when was the first time you played for, for the national team? I was called for under 18. Okay. I was called for under 18, and at that, I remember I was doing my mock, so I couldn't leave my exam and just play. So I remember I was called, but I couldn't make it because at that time I had my mock going you're still on. Still concentrating yes. in school. So um, I had to choose: is that I go play, I miss my exams, or I just do my exams and I miss? Okay. So I had to sacrifice one. And basketball had to go at the moment because okay. at the moment I do. You are busy. Yes, with I was in school. Okay. I was still <coughs> in school. I had to do my mock, and I was expect you know also I had to do my final exams. Okay. So yes, as much as I, I was. Uh, a uh, sports person, mm -hmm. education also, you know, is very, very important. Very important. Yes. Very important. Well, Unasikia, mtazamaji ya sawe ya kule mashinani, ama mtaani, shule ni lazima, school comes first. Unasikia masi ya nasema, uh, lika na shule, and ya kaweza kuwai. Okay, yes. now, the national team, the senior national team, when was the first time? 
um, the first time, I can't remember the date, but um, just after under 18, from there I was always called for national teams. Okay. There's no national team I've never been called. Okay. I've always been called. And of course there's some challenges. You know, when you join national team, um, you get uh, people who are there before you. Okay. You know, and you know, when somebody's good, is good. Okay. Probably you're not bad. Maybe there's something that, um, you know, you, you can't, there's numbers, like you can't carry, like basketball, you go 12 players. Okay. You can't take 15. Okay. You understand? Also, you know, there's some challenges on, um, uh, financial challenges and all that. Okay. So we can't at the moment. Let's but talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. A, let's talk a bit about. Um, there's this program that mm. has been running the Kenya Basketball Association, mm. uh, where good players are taken for scholarship uh, outside the country. What do you think? Has it helped us as a country to uh, to establish ourselves as far as basketball is concerned? I'll say yes. Because, um, I'll say yes, because you can imagine you're playing basketball, a sport that you like, you love doing, and also you're getting, you're being educated, you know, your mom doesn't have to struggle or, you know, they're paying for you, you know, to, for you to be, to be able to, uh, you know, education, to be able to get all that. So I think that's a very good thing. Okay. It, it, yeah, it has helped us a lot. Okay. It's a very good thing. As a I country, support that 100%. Yes, okay. I support that 100%, and um, yeah, it's, it's great. Afro basketball, once again, congratulations. Good Thank job you did in, 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 in Cairo. You. Tell us something about the team uh, that made us proud in Egypt. Mm. The team was fine, uh, more of young players <laughs> and new players, rookies, some of them. Um, uh, um, I'll say it was just a lot of, you know, there's always been a teamwork. I say, you know, Pia Egyptians will come to Zoya. It's been long. Will come to the Rao. For too long. Okay. Like to come to Chapa for too long. Now it was our time. Mm -hmm. It was our time. Like we all just decided, like um, this is the day. Like this is our time. Okay. This is it. It's now or never. So um, we just let's just win. Let's just qualify for this Afro basket. Okay. We take it just to do Zakuta to do wild cards and all that. No, we just said let's just do it. We have to take on the Egyptians. Yes, let's just win this clean. We move on <laughs> to the next. <laughs> I, I noticed while the game was on, there was a time that it was flip flop, fl mm -hmm. flip flopping. Um, the Egyptians come on top of us. There's a time we, we, we they gave us a very good uh, gap. Then eventually, what was really happening, uh, and how, how? What can you say uh, was? the positives that you guys picked or even the negatives you picked in these qualifiers you know let me tell you um this is something that um we did since uh, game one we were beaten by rwanda we were beaten by uh, egypt you know rwanda is a way to figure we always beat them so you know that was one thing we we're like oh probably we should go back so we started watching our games one by one when we, you know with when we met um rwanda we watched our game who was killing us, who was scoring, you know, who was or the danger yes. man, or the danger yes, woman. Exactly. In the team. So we you know how to slow her down, what we need to do, um, how do I um adjust there's some things I wasn't do like personally me um, I will come out a lot, I won't pick the rebounds. So you know, I'll pick but not the way I wanted to do it. So you know those are the things that small small things that we we were correcting each other as a team okay. with the help of the coaches and all that. So when we met them that's why we won because okay. we went back to you know those games we watched ourselves where we to look out to Potea, where who was doing this and that mm -hmm. the same thing to egypt egypt played to begin the first game so we went back we to analyze and reassess yes, yourself yes and everyone had to adjust okay. everyone everyone all of us as players including the coaches okay. they need to they needed to know who should be in for this long who should be out we should be yeah. So we all just yeah, we kept on watching the games okay. until the end. But yes, okay. I'm so happy that um, we won. Yeah, well, it, <laughs> it was Kenyans were proud, though uh, very little has been done so far to appreciate mm -hmm. you guys. But Arocho and the team, we've appreciated you. Uh, you guys did us proud. Now before we proceed to what comes next, because you're going for the qualifiers of the Olympics uh, after beating the Egyptians, there's one thing that came out just the other day. Uh, a coach was being accused of uh, molesting mm. um, basketballers. I, I don't know what you have to say about this. 
Um, <laughs> that topic. <laughs> I know it's a bit. That is a sensitive topic. Yes, I understand. Yes. You see, in my opinion, it's not right. It's you not right. You don't need. You know. You don't need to get something from. You don't need to sleep with somebody to get something okay. out of it. Okay. Okay. And if you feel like you don't want to help this person, be simply because you you look at them as your daughter or you know. Okay. Then don't do it. If you have some other stuff, if you feel like um, you want something else from this person and you know very well they will not agree with whatever you, are, you want them to do, then I don't think that's the right thing to do. Okay. Yes, so um, I don't agree with that. I, it's wrong. It's very wrong. If um, I'll just say that it's just very wrong. Okay. No one should pay with their bodies in order to get something. Something. Yes. Uh, because I, I saw the Minister uh, of Sports who, uh, really rained on the issue and uh, she even gave uh, some sanctions. Yes, she did. And let me tell you, the government has been so supportive. Even, you know, they were really supporting us. They really supported us when we were in Egypt. Okay. Um, also, our federation really supported us 100%. Okay. Yes. Mr. Otula, kudos, yes. Chairman. So, um, yeah, they all came in. Um, that issue, you know, I think, I'm not sure how far it has gone. Okay. But, you know, the minister said that, you know, the, they've taken it seriously and okay. it's going to be um, dealt with in a proper way. Okay. So that is something that... Okay, as we wind up, uh, Masi, Afro basketball, do we have any hopes? We are going to meet Senegal, we are going to meet Nigerians who are currently uh, representing the continent in, 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 in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. What are our chances? We can make it. Why not? We are playing with ladies like us. The only difference is probably now they have been, they have experienced the Olympic, but with us having the, um, we just have to organize the friendlies and okay. we'll be fine. Okay. Yes. What do you think needs to be done to improve uh, even more uh, the basketball in Kenya? Um, you know, um, facilities. I'll start from there. Then you know, um, we need more supporters. We need people to come in and just. Fans should be coming yes, in. Yes, fans okay. should come, should come in and all that. And you know, it's high time now that basketball should be taken as you know a job. Like people should be earning from basketball. Okay. Players should be earning from basketball. Okay. Yes. It should be. It should, it should no longer be a pastime. It should, it be, should be a no, profession. No. Yes. Where somebody uh, can be able to pay their rent. Somebody can be able to take their kids to school because of basketball. Okay. Yes. Last but not least, uh, Masi, uh, are you married? Mm -hmm. uh, because I'm sure most of our, our, our viewers will, will ask. Uh, Arocho, you, 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 you're not telling us what you want to hear. Is Masi married? Um, Masi is not married, okay. but Masi is a single mother. Is a mother of um, one. One. Yes. What's the name of your? It's a daughter. My, no, it's a son. It's a Jarvis. Son. Lovely Jarvis. Yes. Jarvis is my son. Good. Yes. How old is Jarvis? Jarvis is eight years old. Eight years old. Yes. Wow, that's nice. Yes. That's nice. Um, Javi is more or less the age of my last born. Oh. Okay. Uh, Jaden is about 10, 11. Oh. Uh, well, I'd like you to talk to Kenyans, more so basketballers, young basketballers, and uh, perhaps give them uh, something to, to inspire them. Uh, I think you Can should look in? into your camera and talk to them in a, a minute or so. Wapati Motisha. Give them something, <laughs> some hope. I'll say um, I started from, um, I started Nilian Zamali, Akuna Rims, Malili Kwamchanga, all that. So it's possible. You just need to work, believe things will happen and i want to say now basketball is growing and in africa mali basketball will pay so don't look down on people playing who are playing basketball or don't feel like basketball i no one is as i tell my nanny so uh, wherever where you are please don't give up keep on working okay. keep on working keep on working your time is coming Yes, your time is coming. Just remember every day, every day when you wake up and you want to work and something is telling you no, today I'm tired, no. Keep on working, your time is coming. Just keep on pushing yourself. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Masi, for joining Arocho Live. Now, Mutazamadi Amekua, ni mchezaji wa timu ya taifa, basketball, Masi Wanyama, ambaye kwa sasa anacheza kanda, anacheza basketball kule Uispania, anacheza basketball ya kulipua. Na kwa niaba ya kikosi kizima ambacho kimefanyikisha kipindi cha leo 
e, na kutakia wiki isiyokuwa na bugda wiki isiyokuwa na tafash wiki isiyokuwa na mushkil hadi wakati mwingine sablagia <tune>